goes already pressed. So, do you want concentration on the hands or the whole thing? Uh, as you like, I'll do a little introduction. Do an intro, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll go for it. That'll be great. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got, not quite bells, but symbols from the Arabic, Middle East and North African world. I don't think they have any bells out there, but they're very fond of these things, which uh, are finger symbols. So they're little symbols which have got uh, elastic on them, and they go on your finger and on your thumb, like so. And depending where they are, they've got special names. So in Turkey, they're called Zils, and in Egypt, they're called Sagat. And some people are familiar with them and they think that they are used just by belly dancers when they're dancing around. And yes, they do use them, but also they're a proper serious percussive instrument, which uh, guys usually play, for example, in Egypt in a big Egyptian orchestra, they would play them almost twice the size of this, really big, thick, heavy uh, metal finger cymbals, and they're called Torah. But these ones that we've got here, either Zils or Sagat. Two basic sounds, there's a closed sound, and there's a high-pitched open ringing sound. And here's just a little demonstration of the sort of thing that they do. sort of patterns that they do. Some of the easiest ways to remember them are just to think of things in blocks of numbers. So this very uh, common pattern called 337 and that goes like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three four, five, six, seven. Another example, three, five, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Sometimes they can do a muted sound by bringing the zills in like this and then. slightly different sound there and finally as a sort of finale the one thing you can do is put one of the zills in between the other two just shake them together and you get there you go zills sagat torah or just finger symbols and cut <laughs>